in this video I want to show you how to pair your Apple Watch with your new iPhone if it's already paired with another one. So the step number one is to unpair the watch from any existing phone and then I'll show you how to pair it with the new one. So go on your iPhone and tap the watch app. If you don't see it go all the way towards the right side in the app library and type watch. Oops watch so open this app and now next step is to tap down below where you see my watch make sure you're there tap on all watches on the top right corner and here you're gonna see your Apple watch tap on the eye icon on the right side and now go all the way down in this list you're gonna find the unpair Apple watch button tap on it and tap on pair again. You will have to enter your Apple account password to fully unpair the watch. So I'll go ahead and enter my password. Once the password has been entered, press on pair. At this point, you just have to wait. Don't touch anything until it is done. When you see this screen appearing on your iPhone, it simply means that it has been completely removed. Now you can set this old iPhone aside and if we go on the Apple Watch itself, make sure that it's powered on, okay? If it's not, click this uh, button right over here. Keep it pressed until you see the Apple logo. It took around four minutes until I got this screen appearing on the watch. It simply means that it's now ready to get paired with new, your new device, your, with your new iPhone. So at this point, all you have to do is to bring your new iPhone close to your watch. And usually they should detect, um, the iPhone should detect your watch and you're gonna see a pop-up screen here where it will ask you to connect. Now, if you don't see it appearing like in this moment, all you have to do is to restart your iPhone. So on the newer iPhones, what you need to do is to press volume up, volume down and keep press the power button until you get the slide to power off, do that. Wait a few seconds, five seconds, and then keep press the power button until you see the Apple logo. So your iPhone restarts. And after doing that, you should see the um, Apple watch prompt appearing. All right, my phone restarted. And now if I bring the watch closer to my phone and I power on the watch as well, I get this prompt right over here. Now let me show you how to set up your new phone with your Apple Watch by going through all the menus that will be on the display after you press continue. At this point, press continue on your iPhone. You'll then enter in this menu. And from now you simply have to click on allow. And down below, you're gonna click on set up for myself. Unless you set up this watch uh, for your kids or for another person in your family, uh, you're gonna select set up for myself over here. And you'll have to unlock your phone using face ID. So let me try again, try face ID, here you go. Now you're gonna put the watch on the table and you're gonna scan it with the camera of your phone. So you just have to place the camera of your phone right above your watch and here we go, we can go to the next step. If there is a software update available for your watch, you're gonna get this display and you just have to click update now. I always suggest you update the watch before continuing the setup. As it says over here, activating Apple Watch, it may take a few minutes depending on the speed of your internet. And now at this point, Let's read what's over here. So to install the update, make sure that the Apple Watch is in on, on its charger and in range of your iPhone connected to Wi-Fi. So you're gonna take the charger that came with your Apple Watch, should look like this, it's a cable. It didn't come with any power brick, you know, the thing that you plug into the wall outlet. But basically it works with any of these. You probably already have one that you use with your iPhone. So you're gonna plug the USB type C over here. You're gonna plug this end in your wall outlet. 
you're gonna take this end of the charger it has a magnet and you're simply gonna put you over your watch and you should see the charging sign on it then on your phone once you unlock it it will check again for the update and at this point you just have to wait once you get this screen you're gonna press on install and you're gonna enter the passcode of your iPhone press agree and it's now installing when this is done you're gonna get the screen your Apple watch is paired press on setup Apple watch select on which wrist you're gonna wear it left side or right side go down this list and then select agree if you want to help Apple improve their products by sharing your watch analytics click on share with Apple if you don't want this it's not obligatory you can also click don't share so you can set up a passcode on the Apple watch itself every time you're gonna take it off your wrist and put it back on your wrist it will ask the passcode to be used this forbids let's say another person to steal it once you're charging it or once you're not wearing it and you know it will always require a password only when you put it on um, if you don't want this you can always click on don't add passcode if, and if you want to use one well you can always select create a passcode you can also have the option to add a long passcode this will create a longer one not just for numbers in case this is what you're looking for I will not add any passcode so I'll select don't use and don't use on this page you'll be asked to select how you want the text to look on your Apple watch you can make the text bold if you have trouble seeing it and by the way you can take a look at your Apple watch whatever you're doing now will be updated live or you can make the text bigger you can see again on your Apple watch the text is getting larger so just choose how it's better for your eyes what is the most legible way of using uh, the Apple watch you can select continue press OK and now it will ask you to enter these details over here for the fitness and health features of this Apple watch so date of birth if you don't fill this up whatever your Apple watch measures may not be very accurate so that's why I suggest you fill this up now they will ask you if you want to set up the activity features the activity app helps you sit less move more and get some exercise once you set up goals it can send notification to help you meet those goals and this is what these rings are for showing you how much how much progress you've made towards those if you want to use this feature select setup activity if you want to do this later you can select skip this step if you want to enable route tracking this is when you work out with your watch it will be able to track where whatever you have run and show you on a map stuff like that if you want this feature select enable route tracking if not you can always select this later by clicking the other options down below the Apple Watch SE 3 is able to track your sleep if you want to enable this feature obviously you'll have to wear the watch at night and not keep it on a charger and if you want this you can select set up a schedule and over here you can set up how much how many hours you um, you would want to sleep that's your goal and enter your bedtime every day and the time you wake up you'll obviously be able to change these at any moment on this display they'll ask you if you want to get notification for certain things so you have uh, over here noise your Apple watch microphone can measure sound levels without recording audio to notify you if they might affect your hearing so if you are in a very loudly environment it may send you a notification if you want this keep it on if you want this simply keep it on and you can read the other um, options over here cardio fitness low heart rate this is always good in my opinion to keep them on it's they just send you a small notification when they see anything abnormal so you may not even get one of these often press continue if you're taking any of these heart medications you can check them over here and if you're not you can keep checking I'm not taking these medication and press continue 
press continue. This small video instructs you how to use certain features, inclu including wrist flick. So by quickly turning your wrist over and back, it dismiss anything and return to your watch face. So if you see an, a notification that is annoying you, you just have to do this and it disappears without you having to touch the display. Same thing over here with double tap. Tap your index finger and thumb together to answer calls, reply to messages and see your smart stack and more simply by doing this. Press continue. And now your Apple Watch will start syncing with your phone. You don't have to do anything at this step. You can click on get to know your watch in the meanwhile, they are syncing together, but otherwise nothing is required. All right, it has finished. It took around two minutes and you'll get the screen. Welcome to Apple Watch. Simply press done over here and you'll be on your Apple Watch menu on your iPhone. This is where you can change so many things. On the Apple Watch itself, you can simply scroll down and you can scroll down using the touch screen or the crown over here and press OK. Press start. And it will give you a very short tutorial on how to navigate on your Apple Watch SE3. So if you want to see your app, you simply have to press on the crown. This is the crown. Okay, just like this, you're going to see all the apps that are on your Apple Watch. And if you want to return, do the same thing, press on the crown. To open control center, you simply have to press on the button below the crown. This is control center. It gives you access to many different features that are often used. To cancel control center, to close it, press the same button.